Hey everybody. Today I'm going to be walking you through Perpetuator, which is a product that has both a business to consumer and business to business model. It's essentially APIs that allow you to upload documents and then ask questions in natural language about those documents. So let's go ahead and get started by looking at what all we have available right now. Uh, so we're, this is a command line tool that talks to those APIs. We're also building a front end that'll also talk to those APIs. So right now we're just gonna look at any of the documents that have been uploaded. And as you can see, there's no documents that have been uploaded. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and ask the AI a question about a document that hasn't yet been uploaded. So let's see if it knows a, a story about this gentleman named Bob McSecret. Now, there's a story that was generated by AI that is a unique story that nobody else knows. and Nobody else can answer questions about this. And so what we're going to do is we're going to upload this document. Now, as you can see it right now, the AI doesn't know anything about this document. So we will go ahead and just take a peek at this document. And as you can see here, uh, there's, it's talking about Bob McSecret and his cows. And it's quite a long story. It has a lot of information in it. And it talks about how many cows he has, which is 12 cows. So let's go ahead and upload that document up to the server. So we'll go ahead and just do a upload. So this is now calling the backend API, does an upload to the server, and we can now check the status of this. So let's see how the upload's going and how the uh, indexing, the embedding of this document is going. So you can see it's still indexing. So we need to give it just a second so it can index the document, loads it up, and uh, after a few seconds, it should be ready to ask questions about. Once that's done, then we can start asking it questions. So let's see right now, does it just know the story of Bob Nick's secret like we just asked? And what it should come back with is it should tell us that it knows Bob. It knows that he has 12 cows. So while that's loading up here, uh, one thing that we should also see at the bottom of this response is that it also is answering us with what document it's finding this answer in. And this will help us once we have a lot of documents uploaded into this, it will answer us about all of the documents that it found that were relevant. So here you can see it tells us that it's a story about Bob McSecret and that he lives in Blissville and that he has an extraordinary secret and he has 12 cows in his herd. So this is all the information we wanted summarized from that document that we just uploaded. Now let's take this a step further and uh, let's go ahead and ask it about um, Nancy Nobody Knows. And this is just another uh, story that we had the AI create that we can ask it questions about. And Nancy has 10 pigeons. So what we'll do is uh, right now we're expecting it to say that it doesn't know anything about Nancy. And then we will go ahead and upload the story about Nancy. So as you can see, it says that it doesn't know anything about the story of Nancy Nobody Knows, and it's also not mentioned in any of the sources that it's parsed. So it's not finding anything there. Now we've uploaded that. Let's go ahead and just verify that the document is indexed before we start querying on it. Now, again, this is a command line tool that's just talking to the back end. Great. So that's ready to go. So now let's go ahead and just have it tell us the story about Nancy. See if it understands that story. But we're also having a front end built right now. So in addition to the command line interface that we're working with here, uh, the front end is being built so that you can upload documents, see them, view them, and then also ask these questions. And you can do that in a thread style question and answer. So it, it can become more and more context aware of a dialogue that you're having about your own documents. So here you can see it says, Nancy Nobody Knows is a character from a story set in a small town also called Blissville. She had an extraordinary ability uh, to communicate with pigeons. And it should say somewhere in here, yeah, a flock of 10 pigeons. So it summarized all that and told us that she has 10 pigeons. So now we can get a little more fancy. And now that we have two documents uploaded, we can start to ask it things about um, how many pigeons and cows did both Bob Secret and Nancy Nobody Knows have. And so it's going to query across all of our documents now. It's not just 
looking into one document and trying to give us an answer about that. It's looking across all the documents we have ingested into the system. And again, this is API driven, so you can integrate this into anything, websites, applications. And so here it answers us about both of those questions. It says that uh, Bob has 12 cows and Nancy has 10 pigeons. And it also tells us that it got those answers from both of these two documents. Now let's have a little more fun and see if we can figure out what is similar between these stories. So we're going to ask it, what are the similarities between Bob McSeeker and Nancy Nobody Knows? And just see what it comes back with. Now the power that of this being an API driven system is that it's pretty much infinitely scalable. We can roll out multiple instances of this. And right now we're suggesting that you upload public documents like patents and grant application information packets. So as you can see here, it's saying that both Bob McSeeker and Nancy Nobody Knows live in the same town, Blissville. And that was intentional. I modified the story so that they both came from the same town. So that was expected. But what's not expected here is this emergent behavior. It says they both have extraordinary secrets. Bob owns a herd of 12 cows with unique magical powers, while Nancy has a unique ability to communicate with pigeons. So it's identifying these very unique things that are interacting with the animals. They both use their special abilities to help others and keep their abilities a secret from the majority of people. So it's also identified that they're keeping a secret. So this is kind of emergent behavior. And right now we're able to call these APIs